Hey guys, it's Aaron from the Best Family Homestead. Uh, this is a little goat I was telling y'all about. If you look close at his feet right here, you can see how he's knuckled over. See how he's standing up? This one's not too awful bad, but him being a triplet, you can see how this one is, especially when he starts walking. Um, come here, buddy. You can see how he rolls over. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to splint these front feet uh, Go ahead and split both of them so it has even weight on them. And one of them's a little bit knuckled over from him being, you know, a triplet and being crushed up in the womb. And the other one's pretty bad. Maybe two days old. And if it's going to fix itself, it'll fix itself in just a day or so. So what I did is I went, uh, couldn't find the stuff I normally get. So this is just like one inch thin flexible PVC pipe. And I don't want to go under his hooves, and I don't want to go over okay. this first joint. So that's pretty close. Maybe you need to take and cut just a tiny bit off right here uh, to make it fit. So if you ever have a baby goat that has this issue and it looks all knuckled over, I mean, you don't have a splint. And you, you can use popsicle sticks. Popsicle sticks just seem to come loose. Um, they're kind of hard. <laughs> so the, the floor, my wife, my lovely wife, who's being my cinematographer right now, Look at you. might kill me if I Look at you. scrape the floor up too bah. much. Bah. Bah. Yeah. And this guy's super happy. Bah. He's a, what are you doing? a friendly little booger. Oh, sorry, Bubba. Alright, so... You wanna gauze it first? Yes, I am. I'm just double checking the fit. So that'll be about right. You know, just, just a little bit from the knuckle. So it's below this knuckle and above his hoof. Alright, so I've got that one. So I'll let him be a goober and play. I'm gonna get this other piece right here set up. <laughs> oh my goodness. He just ate. We just fed him too, so he's yeah. got a little bit of puppy belly. Look at that foot. See that foot? Oh, I know. What do you say? What do you think? Oh, is that funny noise? Just a cutie patootie. Alright guys, so uh, watch right here. If this is what you can find. It's a little bit thicker than what I would like to use, but it's what I could find. And you can see it. I don't want to cut the circulation off, and this right here closes back up pretty tight. So what I did on the other piece, we're kind of experimenting. Just open it up. I'm going to put some scores in here. There you go. Now you can see how that closes up a lot lower, or a lot slower. Open it up. Crack them. There we go. Now it's not going to worry about cutting off circulation. So one of the things you want to do, no matter what you use, whether it's popsicle sticks, what are you doing, Bugabo? Or whatever you use, you want to make sure and have some gauze for the inside because we don't want him to. Where are you going, huh? He's an adventurous friend. He's like, hey, where's, where's... Oh my goodness. Where's that bottle I had earlier? That's what he wants. What are you doing? You hungry? Hmm. Maybe. What? What? I don't... I know, you're not, you're not, you're not going to like this. All it takes is just a couple days. So, get my, this is the Easy Care, it's a self-adhesive stuff. Don't want to use tape, and you really want to be careful when you do this, because you do not want to cut any circulation off. No, um, yeah, you don't want it too tight. So I'm going to put this right, right here. Thank you. Below his knuckle, above his hook. A little bit lower, man. It needs to be a little bit lower. 
And I might need a little bit of help here, huh? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. So it doesn't get wet. I might need you to come help me put that around it. Okay. While holding. He's right. being a good boy. There we go. We uh, can trim that uh, off. Is it a good boy or a good girl? I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're wrapping this just enough to hold the splint. Again, you don't want to wrap this uh, really tight. You want to go over the top edge so it stays a little bit to so get a tight seal on the top. You're being a good boy. Oh, good, good, good job, girl. buddy. Yay. Good job. Good job. Here's what a good my other dirty. little piece of gauze here. We're going to... Like, one foot's worse than the other, but I don't want to... Me and my wife had a, we'll call it a discussion mm -hmm. about doing one or the other. But I want them to have... I don't want to build one muscle up more than the other. I want them to have kind of an even weight distribution. I don't want to get used to one foot being heavier than the other. Alright. Thank you. This guy is being good. Many of them are not this uh, amiable. Is it tight enough to hold it straight? I don't know. I think so. We're about to find out. Or is it just going to make it so it doesn't? Just, just want to keep that knuckle from coming over. And again, one reason I wanted to use that tubing is I know it's light. It's relatively light. <clears throat> oh, there we go. See, now those front feet are straight. So by him putting the pressure and it keeps it from knuckling over, um, him staying like this. So now he can stand like that. It won't take but just a couple days. So those baby tendons and baby uh, baby bones will strain back out. And he's going to be good to go. What's up, buddy? I know. Come on. What are you doing? Huh? Can you play? Hey, what's he doing? So you can see how he's standing much straighter now. Uh, it'll take him a minute to kind of get used to it. And what we'll do is every day we will change the gauze. Um, to check make, on the feet. You know, and check on his feet every day. But it really it won't take long. Uh, this happens. This is not uncommon with triplets. Um, <laughs> or even twins, depending on the size of the goat. Just because that's... With him, there was three of them packed inside of a little mama. Um, but yeah, he's, he's standing up good. He's standing up good, and his feet are nice and straight now. So we're just gonna give it enough time, give it a few days, and they'll straighten those See, tendons straight now. Bottle, it's right behind you. I bet you might. Here, buddy. What's this? I don't think he knows what that is. Come here, little nugget. Come here, buddy. You gotta hold him still. Yeah. Trust me, once these guys figured out exactly what the bottle is, they will kill a big he bottle. He might be full. He might be. He had eaten from mama and then we just fed him before we brought him in. I don't think he likes being from grandpa. I think he likes to feed on from grandma. Uh -huh. Grandma has the magic touch. Oh no, he was her. I don't think he's hungry. Wait, wait. Nope. Yeah, he already ate on mama. He's not and, hungry. And got a little bit more. Alright guys, well, uh, hope this video, you enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see some more videos like this. Um, I hope it can help somebody else that uh, has some goats. Him. And, you know, it freaked us out the first time we had this happen with one of our goats. Um, easy fix. It's nothing to worry about. And these stuff you can find at the yeah. Store. I got this stuff at uh, the hard, the local hardware store and the Dollar General. You know, so you don't you don't need to worry about it. If it, if you do have one brand new born like this that happens, don't don't worry about it. Give it a couple days. Don't do it immediately. Sometimes they will straighten themselves out. Uh, but you know, after a couple days, if it hadn't straightened itself out. Yeah, that's all it takes is a splint, and it'll probably be three or four days. Uh, we'll check it every day, rewrap it, 
and we'll do a follow-up on him and we'll, we'll do a follow-up on you can't tell. him and uh oh. <laughs> and we will let y'all know how his feet are doing <laughs> so appreciate y'all watching and uh hope y'all enjoyed and he, he seems to enjoy he is enjoying being in the warm <laughs> yes <laughs> there goes the there tail, goes the tail.